Hey, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. I've got your Outback Ultralight 240 URS uh, Ultralight Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. Let's take a look at your beautiful new rig. Up front you've got a molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in it. You also are going to have a control for that right there. Prepped and readied for solar panel. We will install a 12 volt battery and fill up the propane tanks for you. You do have a power tongue jack to operate the front of it. Coming around the side, you're gonna notice a couple black rectangles. Those are going to be the vents for your garage. So that'll allow you to keep it from smelling like a garage. Black tank sewage flush. So when you go down here to um, empty your gray and black tanks, um, you can also leave that hose hooked up, leave that valve open, and uh, run a fresh water hose through the black uh, tank flush, and that will clean out uh, that sewage tank a little bit. You have blue and red hoses there. Those are the low point drain valves. Vent for your furnace as well as your RV refrigerator. Hook up for cable and satellite on the key TV system. I'll send you a video in regards to that. You also have your 30 amp plug-in. Water heater and then the fill station. Fresh water connection. This is going to fill your onboard holding tank for your fresh water. And then you also have a city connection for pressurized and city water. Nice storage underneath and behind your spare tire king bed slide out with the cable pulley system. Down low you're going to have your push buttons for your electric stabilizer jacks. Nice big power awning with the LED lights built into the side arms going the full length of the camper. You are also going to have a hot and cold water shower out here prepped and ready for cable satellite if you choose to put a TV outside. Access to your front loading garage and your front power stabilizer jack and then some nice storage underneath wherever we can find room. Let's go inside and take a look at the rest of your beautiful new camper. When you first walk in, that little black thing, that's the CO and uh, propane gas alert detector. Kind of like having that safety equipment. And then here was your control panels. This is going to operate your furnace and your AC, digital thermostat, just like you should probably have at home. Fresh water tank levels, it's all going to light up and let you know how full they all are. Water pump if you're running off of your onboard holding tank for your fresh water. Gas and electric heating elements for your water heater. And then some light switches. The night light is going to be for these little puck lights that are kind of hiding. Probably got a few of them somewhere around here. You like to hide those. And uh, both your slide out and your power awning. Galley kitchen, you're going to have your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Flip it back once. And one more time, that's going to give you access to your three burners. Pretty LED backlighting for your controls. Nice big oven underneath. You do get a roll out mat uh, cover for the sink. Let you put your dishes on there to drip dry. And uh, also make some extra counter space if needed. Hood fan and lighting. 30 amp microwave. CD DVD player with Bluetooth there for you. Dinette that will drop down for extra sleeping space. And when you bring your bed in to travel, you're going to just drop it down and get it out of the way. Speakers built in as well. Nice king size bed on your slide out. And then you have your jackknife sofa that you're also going to just simply lift up the bottom and let it drop down. So that way we can bring the slide box in. There is some lighting in your slide out. And there is a cable here that is going to plug into the wall. There's a little little plastic plug there and this little guy is going to plug in there that's going to give power to the slide box so you have your led lights do you need to unplug it though because this slide comes in quite a bit and we want to keep it out of the way of harm fuse panel and breaker box if you have any electrical issues start there it's usually a quick simple fix if you blew a fuse for some reason 
gas and electric on your RV refrigerator, on and off switches, as well as an auto. I'm going to send you a video about RV fridges. They're a little bit different than what we're used to, so it's kind of nice to get familiar with them. Heating is ducted along and around the floors. Go check in here. Master bathroom, foot flush, toilet, great sink, nice vanity. You do have a fan built in uh, to your hood. And we're going to get her all polished up and clean for you. Oh, let's take one quick look in this beautiful big front loader garage. You do have a, a little stainless steel diamond plate. That is going to cover the gap between the ramp and the floor of the camper. So that way you don't have a little hump. You also are going to have the ramp extension. Make it a little easier to load up your equipment. Great storage. And your bunks here. Pretty simple to operate. They do have a strap to secure the bottom one, but all you do is grab it and pull it down. And then the top one is on some gas struts. Go ahead and pull that down. And now we have a bunk room. Do have your power cord there. Those vents we talked about outside. And you are prepped and ready for a sol um, TV service in here if you'd like. Those little independent lights all have buttons built into them, so you just push the button in the center of them, turn them on and off. And please make sure you secure that door before you travel down the road. Well, that right there is your new Outback 240 URS travel trailer. I do look forward to seeing you guys soon. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. April at Lakeshore RV Center, 231-638-7750. See you soon.